all our love. So, I'm sure that extra time has prepared us well for a meditation. So we are not quite sure if Alex has found him on the screen by now, but he definitely has shortened his cup of tea and <laughs> went to his computer, we are assured by Julie. And Kathy wants to also say, oh my God, he's under Julie's name. That makes all the difference. So great, we could have waited for David forever. <laughs> so let's see how successful Alex will be. Now the amazing thing is that we have um, 199 people on Zoom. So you can use it and wave, the camera's over there. So you have to wave this direction, this direction. Yeah, there. Woo! And that's a very good question. It will be revealed in a moment, maybe. Lots will be revealed in a moment. I mean, we could sing once again, like happy birthday, just to make the waiting easier. Shall we do that? Yes. Okay, so the singer starts singing and I follow. Enjoy your cup of tea, David. Oh, oh, he's still on mute. <laughs> we want to hear him. <laughs> My cup of tea is wonderful. <laughs> did you have a good cup of tea? I did. Thank you. Oh, Actually, wow. I, I still We're have it here with me. <laughs> I apologize for getting the time wrong, but um, you know, uh, you know. I just needed that extra half hour of sleep. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. And this cup of tea, and we completely and understand. Thank you for getting early for uh, getting up early for us. And Julie and I want to wish Finhorn the happiest of 60th birthdays. This is such an honor to be with you today. And um, thank you for inviting me. All right, well, you've waited. Um, uh, very patiently and lovingly for uh, for me to show up, and here I am. So let's start with our birthday meditation. So when I start something like this, <clears throat> I like to do what I call the four blessings. So let me uh, invite you to close your eyes and and join with me on the adventure we're going to take. The first blessing is to bless ourselves, to be aware of the love that our souls have for our being present on the earth. It is out of that love that we have come to take physical embodiment and to share this world with each other and with all the life that abounds within it. And each of us brings a unique gift, something no one else, no other soul, no other person can bring to the world. <clears throat> and so in honor of that unique gift that we each are, let us bless ourselves. Let us bless the place that we are in. 
wherever you are in the world, bless that place. Fill it with the energy of your love and your gratefulness and your acknowledgement of the life that it holds. Bless the place that you are in. And bless the people around you. Let us bless each other. Let us acknowledge the wonder of all the individuals who are in our lives, but in particular, those who share this space and this time with us, whether in the physical location of the hall or whether in cyberspace, let us bless each other. And let us bless the activity in which we are engaged. Let us bless this birthday celebration, 60 years of service, of wonder, of demonstration, of exploration and discovery. Let us bless this time of meditation and attunement, this activity which we share together. And now I would like to lead you in a meditative journey and we will begin by imagining the original caravan, the seed from which Finhorn started. And in your mind's eye and in the awareness of your heart, please see the original caravan, the place where Peter and Eileen, their three children and Dorothy all lived in a little hollow in the midst of a caravan park. Next to the dump of that caravan park, This was the seed from which Finhorn sprouted 60 years ago. So take a moment to be with that original caravan in your mind and heart and appreciate all that took place there and what it may stand for today. Now I would like you to remember where you were when you first heard about Finhorn. That is the seed of your connection to this place whose birthday we celebrate. It's the inner caravan from which your journey with Finhorn began. 
So who were you and where were you when you first heard about Finhorn? Remember and bless that self. Now I would like you to remember and visualize the garden of Finhorn. In your mind's eye, in your heart's awareness, you can see it as it was then, from pictures you have seen, from personal experience perhaps, or see it as it is now. But take this moment to meditate upon the garden that was Finhorn's second beginning. Growing out from the lives that were, that shared that original caravan. So let us take a moment to hold that garden as it was and as it is in our minds and hearts. The garden was the beginning of Finhorn's experiment in cooperation with the intelligences of nature, with those vast elemental and devic realms, invisible to our physical eye, but present to our hearts and to our own spirits. This was what brought Finhorn to the attention of the world. The garden growing on sand, blessed and nourished both by human labor and by the energies from the subtle worlds. In your meditation on the garden, Draw in and acknowledge the presence of those intelligences of nature, great and small, who joined with the founders and with the early community to give a demonstration of what is possible in the world.
what is your relationship with the invisible, subtle, living world around you? How does that world live for you? Is it an abstraction? Is it a hope? Is it a theory? Is it a living experience? What is that inner garden for you, that place of cooperation and collaboration with the invisible side of Earth's great ecology? Feel into your own relationship with the subtle domains and the creative partners who are there for us. I would like you to imagine, to draw into the inner theater of your heart and mind, an image of the sanctuary. It could be any of the sanctuaries at Finhorn, whichever one speak to your heart. It could be the one that has burned down. It could be the one that will replace it. It could be the nature sanctuary, the sanctuary in the hall, or any other that is meaningful to you. Whatever you image, meditate on the importance and the presence of the sanctuary in the life and growth of Findhorn. Findhorn grew out of connection with the sacred, with the God within. The sanctuary is a symbol of that relationship, one that we all have. And it was and is at the center of Finhorn's development. So just hold the image, the memory, the presence of the sanctuary at Finhorn in your heart and mind. And let it be the focus of your meditation for a few moments.
whether the communion with God that guided Eileen and Dorothy in all the early years of Finhorn and its development, or whether the shared experience of coming together in celebration of that sacredness within the hall of the sanctuary in the early years of the community. Acknowledgement and celebration of the sacred within us and within all things has been part of this community's life. What is the presence of spirit in your life? Do you sense a God within? Do you sense your own sacredness? How does spirit move through your life? In joy, in wonder, in blessing? in insight, in wisdom? What is your personal relationship to your spirit, to your sacredness? The wellspring of your being. What, <clears throat> what is your inner sanctuary? Now I would like you to visualize in your meditation the community center. I know that it is not there for you anymore in physical form, but it is surely there in spirit. The community center gave a place for the developing community at Finhorn to come together, to eat together, to have fun nights together, to share and celebrate the spirit of community. These were the three great principles. on which Finhorn has grown. Attunement to the sacred within oneself and within all things. Cooperation with the invisible and subtle, yet living fields of intelligence that surround us at all times. The intelligences of nature and of spirit. and the challenge and celebration of community. So take a moment to honor in memory and in your experience, the community center as it was and as it will be again.
hold in your blessing the spirit of that center and the gifts that it offered to Finhorn as a whole. And now bring your attention, the inner focus of your heart and mind to the community center within you. Who are you in community? How does community live in you? What do you give to it? What do you receive? from it? How do you co-create it? Take a moment to meditate on the spirit and life of community within yourself. And upon who you are as part of community. Now let us meditate upon the hall, the hall in which some of you are seated. This was a great act of community creation. And it represents the spirit of Finhorn reaching out through song, through dance, through the arts, through gathering, through hospitality and welcome to the larger world beyond its boundaries. It represents an invocation, the great muses and the spirits of the arts. It represents a place to come together in celebration of community and life and of creativity. The hall announced to the world, we are not here just for ourselves in this little place, but we create this beautiful, magnificent structure through which we may share ourselves with others. 
with our neighbors, with the world. And take a moment now to meditate upon the hall, what it is and what it has meant in the life of Findhorn. Now bring your focus back to yourself. What is the hall within you? How do you reveal and celebrate your spirit and bring it to the world? Through all that you have gained or learned or experienced, in your association with Findhorn, how do you bring that to your world? How do you share it with the larger environment of which we all are a part? The hall is the creative impulse made manifest at Findhorn. What is that creative impulse in your life within you? How are you a living hall? In our meditation, we have traveled through Findhorn's history, its 60 years, from its beginnings in a small caravan, through the garden, through the sanctuary, through the community center, through the hall, through all these elements that embodied a key and important element in the life and growth of Findhorn. And you have visited those same corresponding elements in yourself. The Findhorn within you, if you wish. But so much more than that, your own unique journey carrying the impulse that connected you to this place through the spirals of your own growth and learning and experience to where we are today and your power to share it with the world. These are like the twin helix the double helix of the DNA of a world that seeks emergence, 
a world not splintered or divided into human and nature, physical and subtle, seen and unseen, physical and non-physical, but a world recognizing its wholeness, its light, its sacredness. Your unique individual life entwines with the life of Findhorn to create something powerful, emergent, something really only you can know and appreciate and realize in the depths of your life. The gift that only you can bring into the world. And take a moment just to meditate on who you are now, the gift you are now, because you have entwined and blended and been part of the life of Finhorn. The life that we celebrate on this birthday. The gift of Findhorn does not lie in its buildings or in its place. As important as these have been to give body to the spirit of its inspiration and its teaching. The work of Finhorn has always been to ignite and draw forth and celebrate the light within each of us, that we may be a flame to the world, a flame of hope, a vision, of healing, of discovery and wonder, and of love. And the power of Finhorn is that we do not do this alone. As the song says, we are one incredible family across the globe. Celebrating Finhorn's light, cultivated over 60 years of hard work and hopeful vision and loving presence, but more deeply celebrating the light that we bring to the world, enhanced and empowered perhaps by our experience of this remarkable place, this magical place. but nevertheless, still uniquely, the light that only each of us can bring in our own special way. A light enhanced and empowered by our presence together, our community together, our family together. And so as a final act of our meditation, 
let us see this light radiating out in blessing to our world. And may it be a blessing for many, many years to come. Thank you. So my friends, thank you for going on this journey with me. And I wish you a wonderful day today as you go into whatever celebrations you have planned for this birthday. And Julie and I will be joining you in spirit. Oh for taking us on that journey. And, and we are very glad and happy that you will be joining us. So have a wonderful day and a few more cups of tea in peace. I have it right here. Cool. Very good. <laughs> so Bless and everybody. Yeah. And so there's lots of waving going on. And <laughs> yes. yeah. I can feel the loving breeze of it. <laughs> so it's a beautiful space we are in. Um, and maybe let's just take, uh, take this space that has been created inside of us and amongst us and with all the people who have shared this journey with us. Let us take it out into the day and into the rest of the day when we are sharing the cake and when we are joining the sharing and with all the people we meet and yeah, send it and give it as a blessing. And once again, thank you to David. Thank you. Thank you.